Hey everyone, Cody here. Today is going to be a quick video on how to get your Corsair RGB backlit keyboard up and running as quickly as possible with some of the best themes I've found on their forums. Um, so first off, you're going to need to have the Corsair Utility Engine installed on your computer. If you haven't done so already, you can go ahead and uh, go over to their Corsair main website at Corsair.com and you can use the uh, download section to browse to your actual keyboard that you have. Uh, you'll see here, this is just a general installer for the K65, 70, and 95. After that's installed, this is going to look just like this for you. You're going to have a default profile with nothing assigned. If you want to do something simple, like a, just a simple all green key or something like that, you can click and hold on your ma on your uh, on your mouse button. <laughs> and highlight all the keys and you can choose a background color just like that. You should notice that your color changes and that's about all there is to it. You can't go super in depth with this. You can choose some effects and you can customize them by pressing this little pencil button next to it to say choose which color it changes to and the speed But This is uh, pretty bare bones here for the most part. You're not going to find anything too amazing here. Some neat effects but nothing amazing. So to find the real good effects, unless you want to spend hours learning how to properly program the software, you're going to go ahead over to the Corsair RGB forums and uh, they have lists of profiles um, that you can download. So you'll see here once you're on the Corsair forums page, they have all of the keyboards, uh, the profiles listed before the actual profile. So if you'd like, you can go here and you can go to the search bar and you can choose the RGB uh, over here on the side you have to choose the RGB profiles choose the keyboard you're using type in the verification and you can do a search type in the verification into the right box and you can do a search and this will show you everything that uh, has been posted with the actual correct keyboard link before the name and the actual uh, post of it. So you can see here these are this is one of the profiles somebody set up. But if you want to find the best uh, the best profiles in one giant installer you're going to click this big sticky link at the very top. Well I guess it's not big but you're going to click this link here at the top. It's pinned. Um, if for some reason this forum link goes down I'll do my best to update this in the video description. Otherwise, I'll just already have this link down here that'll take you right to this form. Just uh, check out the description box below. And once you're here, you'll see a list of the authors and then the profiles from that author. So it's going to contain all of these in uh, one zip file. So once you go to the bottom of that form post, you'll see the attached file section. Just go ahead and choose the files for your keyboard, whichever one you have and uh, you'll have to go ahead and extract this so we'll just extract um, alright so I'm gonna go ahead and place this on my desktop to make this quick for the video but go ahead and uh, put this wherever you like because you're gonna be leaving this here for the most part so I've just put it to my desktop here now go back to your Corsair utility engine click the import export profiles button choose to import and then go to wherever it's installed or wherever you chose to save the zip file open it up and you'll see just like before these are the authors and once you click on the author you'll see all of their profiles so I'm gonna go ahead and just choose one of them here I want to show off um, the other modes that can be assigned to profiles as well so I'll choose this one so you may or may not have the lighting conflicts prompt pop up. I do because I've already had all these profiles installed and I erased them for the sake of the video. If this happens to you, just go ahead and click update. Um, sometimes there's a lot of boxes, sometimes there's not many. And then uh, you'll be able to see here, now your profile has changed to what you've imported. And your keyboard should be displaying the actual profile properly. If for some reason it is not, sometimes the software will not be set to automatically switch. So you'll have to go to your taskbar down here, right click the Corsair icon, and manually 
choose the profile you want to use. For the most part, automatic profile switching works well. So now I've chosen the fire and ice profile. You can't see it because I don't have a proper camera setup to be able to highlight my keyboard, but your keyboard should be displaying the lighting effects. Um, you can go to the lightings tab on this software and it will show you more in depth of what's happening. And uh, you'll notice there's also different modes. So some profiles contain multiple modes. These can vary from displaying prominently fire in this one instead of fire versus ice or prominently ice instead of fire. Some also have different options such as a WASD or a first person shooter profile or some others like that. But for the most part this is all there is to it. You'll have your keyboard up and running with the lighting as intended and uh, you'll have to manually import all of these but you can go back to that main thread as I showed before and uh, right here it says the authors and it will show uh, the form links so you can click on one of these corrosive is a really cool one and you can click on the video and it shows a uh, small little demonstration of the lighting effect so if I sit here and I say oh I like that that's, that's kinda kinda nifty so I can go over here and I can choose the corrosive skin make sure you're looking at the correct author this guy is Schwitz one the Schwitz category, uh, the Schwitz folder. I'll choose corrosive. And like I said before, I'm gonna have lighting conflicts because I've already had these installed. Just click update to them, and that's all there is to it. Now your keyboard should also change to the new skin, and it does all kinds of cool things when you type. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video helped you out in some way. Um, if it didn't, feel free to leave a comment below, uh, and I can do my best to help you out. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Like this video if I helped you. Dislike it if you hate me, and I will see you in the next one.